It looks like so, the little heart icon right here. Let's see the app's details. This one is about creating fundraising in Canva. Okay, Donate in designs allow you to embed fundraising into your Canva creations. Let me show you how it works. Okay, So I'm going to click on the app. And right here, you can find a cause, find a charity, find a nonprofit organization in three different locales. Okay, You have United States. United Kingdom or Australia. Me, because I have one in mind, I can go straight to it by start searching. So once you've found your cause, you can go through the different options right here. So you have the logo by default. Most of the organizations will have a logo here. Then you can choose a primary color. So this is going to be for the button. Okay, so kind of like here, the button by default, it gives you the same color as canvas buttons, which is cool, but you could be more fancy and want to match the color of the logo go right here. Okay, there you go. I copied the hex code. Okay, nothing fancy here. Now I can set a goal if I want to. I don't have to set a fundraising goal. And also I can choose the currency. So by default, because it's a UK charity, it set the currency to the pound, the British pound. Okay, so pound sterling. I can change that if I want it into euros, into USD or into AUD, Australian dollars. Me, I'm going to go for euros. That's the currency we use here. And I'm going to set a goal. Okay, let's say I want to raise a thousand euros for Oxfam in the UK. I can tick the option to show the recent donations as well. I think this is a great incentive for people. And then once this is all good, two more options. I can go for a button or for a QR code. I'm going to go for the button. I think it looks more engaging. I'm going to show you the QR code after that. But that's it. Really, you add this to your design you and hover over it. The little cursor will change. So if I click, I will be redirected to this website website right here that kind of like powers this app in Canva. So from here, I can choose between a one time payment, a monthly payment, and I can choose the euro amount. Okay, if I go for 50, then it changes here. Click on next. I need to fill out this form and actually proceed to the payment. And then the next time someone will click on that button, I should see because I ticked it the history.